I'm going to hell. What is going on, you guys? It's Extreme here, and welcome back to another episode of my Road to Max Prestige, a series I do Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Now, in today's episode, I get to play with this thing. Yeah, I actually enjoy using this gun. I know there are a lot of people that do not like it. I love it. I think it is without a doubt one of the coolest guns in the game. It has actually given me a renewed um, experience with playing this game. Like I really do enjoy this gun. I will admit two things. Thing number one, I hate the recoil on it. Uh, that is something I could most definitely do without. All right, the recoil is, oh my God, why? Why? <laughs> the recoil is that bad. It's it's just not fun playing with the recoil that it has. And the fact that there is no grip is my second major gripe with this gun. I just want to know why. I mean, it's LMG. I understand, you know, it's also a shotgun, whatever. And I understand the foregrip is kind of how the gun switches between the two. But, uh, d d seriously... This gun has very low accuracy, so hitting shots is hard enough. Removing a feature to increase the stability or the, the accuracy, whatever, really bothers me. But uh, other than that, I have a lot of fun with this gun, and I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. Now, there is a moment where I kind of bitch out. Alright, I kind of bitch out. You'll see. And uh, don't give me shit for it. Now... I want to talk about what happened this past Saturday, Saturday night, the fight of the century, more like the best um, paint drying show in the world, because apparently that's how bad it was. Now, I did not see the fight. I will not pretend that I saw the fight. I know who won. There's a lot of people saying that that's not right I guess I don't really have an opinion because I didn't pay to see the fight and I didn't see the fight so I'm not going to sit here and say oh man you know Pacquiao should have won Even Mayweather cheated or bought, bought the fight whatever I, I can't say that because I didn't see what happened but everything that I'm hearing is that the fight didn't live up to expectation you know, and Mayweather pretty much, from again, what I've heard, pretty much spent the whole fight, you know, did, you know, dancing around it. Like, he was trying to avoid actually fighting Pacquiao. So, I gotta ask, any of you guys see the fight? I'm being real. Did any of you guys see the fight this past Saturday night? on pay-per-view for a hundred bucks oh my god just saying that out loud makes me cringe I've been asked this before and I don't know if I've ever given a proper answer to the question do I watch MMA or boxing the answer has been no and the reason for that is a perfect example well a reason for that is I don't know if it was a perfect example, but the reason is because of this stuff right here where, you know, you're expecting just a battle of tooth and nail, you know, two gladiators going at it for whatever reason. And instead you get <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is where I bitch out. Um, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. I'm not kidding. I'm literally going to sit here for a little bit. Or a little more than a little bit. But still. Um, and you're going to see just how much of a bitch I am. If you're wondering why I'm bitching out, I'm trying not to waste two care packages. Because I'm going to earn one as soon as I kill somebody. And I don't want to drop this care package because I don't have the trap attachment on it. For whatever reason, I thought it would be a smart idea to run something else. I'll be honest with you, if you're going to run a care package, you have to run trap. It's the only way it makes sense because the enemy doesn't get the care package. They get killed. I'll take that. 
Just saying. Seriously, I just let a guy go by. I absolutely had him dead to rights, and I let him go by. And the fact that he didn't even see me is even more pathetic. But I'm just saying. Um, but, I mean, you pay 100 bucks to see this fight, and paint drying was probably more entertaining. From what everything I'm hearing, paint drying is going to be more entertaining. Watching paint dry is going to be more entertaining. That's pathetic. And apparently it's all on Mayweather for that. Pacquiao did the best he could. He tried to fight him, and apparently Mayweather ditched out. He basically acted like a bitch. And, you know, I, I know... I understand he's, he's trying to keep his undefeated streak intact. You know, I can respect a guy for doing what he had to do to keep that intact. You know, he wants to go undefeated his entire career. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're as good as you claim, you shouldn't be afraid of any man in a full contact sport. I'm just saying. It's pathetic that people paid a hundred bucks. And not the people who paid a hundred bucks. It's pathetic that this guy is going to get paid huge fucking money for doing nothing. Now again... I haven't seen the fight. I don't know who really won. I don't know who lost. I know it went to decision, which was unanimous for Mayweather. Yet again, if everything I'm hearing is correct, and if I ever do see the fight, and it is in fact true that Mayweather did exactly what was said, and he didn't do anything. He just kind of stood there. Then... Um, How the fuck do you win unanimously if you didn't do anything? You know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm confused. There are so many conflicting reports. I would need to see the fight, and the likelihood of that happening is obviously very slim. You know, let's be honest. I'm not going to pay 100 bucks to see this thing. If it's this bad that there are people demanding a refund, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. You know, I don't know. It, it, another thing that really pisses me off is you've got Mayweather comparing himself to legitimate great boxers, specifically saying he's greater than Muhammad Ali. Now, I have personally never seen Muhammad Ali fight, um, but the, the man never pulled the bullshit that let me rephrase that even when he was pulling the bullshit that apparently Mayweather pulled this past Saturday he still was entertaining to watch at the end of the day you can be a bitch just so long as you entertain the people and apparently he didn't do that so I don't know maybe it's the the wrestler in me that just doesn't want to let go of the fact that you know the performance side of the sport the end of the day, even though boxing is a legitimate sport and people are actually trying to beat the shit out of each other, it's still entertainment. And you if you're not going to fucking give them what they want, you're not going to give them a bloodbath, you're not going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the person you're supposed to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, at least entertain the crowd, man. Jesus Christ. He did an awesome job at WrestleMania. Uh, what was it? Um, uh, geez, I don't know which one it was. Um, he took on Big Show. It was, it was a hell of a show. He did an amazing job. He had a lot of help from show, but he still did an awesome job. And it's like, dude, come on. You know, I mean, you did a good job there. Can't you do one here? Come on. For being a puss. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I My opinion of this whole fight and how the outcome came to be and whatever, what the outcome was, it is honestly a little jaded because I didn't see the fight. Um... And I don't know what if what I heard is true or not. I, I'm going off of purely the commentary of online text, you know, and video recaps of the fight. I, I actually have no visual proof of any of this, obviously, because Showtime and HBO and all these other providers literally were going, No! Uh-uh! No! You can't do that! No! Justifiably so. They're trying to make as much money off of this bullshit as possible. But... The fight was apparently very, very bad to the point where people were 
more entertained by Samuel L. Jackson's mustache. Or not Samuel L. Jackson, but uh, Denzel Washington. There you go. There were people who were more entertained by Denzel Washington's mustache than they were the fight. 100 bucks, pay per view, thousands of dollars for a ticket. And the most entertaining thing about the whole fight was Denzel Washington and Jamie Foxx's um, uh, singing of the national anthem. I'm hearing more about that than I am the actual fight. That sucks. And I'm hoping people won't buy into the hype for the next match of the century. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Until next time, adios. Do a tennis ball at the wall, but it bounced off the wall, it bounced off the floor, and then it came right up into my nuts. I wish I was making this up. This really happened. My mother had this knack for hitting me in the nuts. It just... Anytime she threw something, and to really put this in, like, to send this home to you guys, just to prove that my mother had some weird ability to throw something, and it would always hit me in the nuts, I was sitting behind my mother and to the right of her. Okay, so if you picture this, um, all right, let me let me let me. I'm trying to think of a way to visualize it for you guys. Okay, picture the way the care package is sitting, just right there. Okay, 